Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today we are going to talk about delete and truncate statement in SQL Server. Both the delete and truncate statements are used to remove records from a table, but they have different behavior how they are used and executed. And both of the statements delete and truncate are based upon the ANSI SQL standard. So uh, we'll talk about both of them one by one. So, so delete option you can remove some or all the rows from a table. You can use where clause with delete statement to filter the records that you don't want to delete or you want to delete. So you can apply a where clause with the delete statement if you want to delete some records or if you want to delete all the records you don't need to apply a where clause. Okay. So we'll see in our small example how to use the delete statement. So I'll create a small table create table db.employ with two columns employ id it's an identity column and employ name right. So and I'll populate this table with four records. So as this is an identity column, I don't need to populate it. It will automatically populate from starting from one to four. Okay, let's see the contents of the table. It has a one, two, three, four and all these names. So how can I use the delete statement? Okay, so the delete statement goes like this. Delete from uh, table name. Okay, so if I just give like this, it will remove all the records from a table. But if I want to filter, right, if I don't want to remove the first two records, Right. I can just give employee ID greater than or equal to 3 or if I just want to remove third record I can just give employee ID is equal to 3 if I don't want to remove the third record and all the records what I can do is I can do it like this employee ID not equal to 3 so you can put any quality operator here with the where clause predicate right so if you just put employee ID is equal to 3 it will delete only one record see one row affected and you get rest of these records here right now what if we don't apply the where condition right just delete from employee table okay so three records affected select the stuff from db or employee nothing is coming over here okay so this is how delete statement works if you are using a delete statement so it will cause all the delete triggers on the table to fire so if you have triggers on tables Triggers are nothing but similar to stored procedures. Uh, these are created on insert, update or delete events. So uh, if you have these kind of triggers, so they will fire on the table if you are applying a delete statement. It removes rows row by row one at a time and records an entry in the transaction logs. Thus it is slower. So delete operation does a row by row deletion of records and logs the row one by one in the transaction logs as well. So it's slower. Every deleted row is locked. So first of all, the row is locked, then it is deleted. Thus, it requires more number of locks and database resources. So according to Microsoft Books Online, so if the table does not contain a clustered index or it is a heap, then it does not deallocate the memory instantly. So if you want to deallocate the memory instantly, you can use the so you can create a cluster index on the table while deleting or use a tab lock hint while deleting a table. Okay, last point is this statement. The delete statement is a DML operation. DML means data manipulation language because it is used to manipulate or modify the table data, but not the table itself. So you don't, uh, so with delete statement, the table, the property, none of the property of the table is changed. The, ta the property of the table remains as it is. Okay, now let's see about truncate. So with truncate, you don't have any option to filter the records. It removes all the data at once. The moment you apply truncate statement all the data is gone from the table it does not require a where clause as I said so you cannot filter rows while truncating okay so while you are truncating so we have this identity thing uh, in our example so I'll go back to my example the truncate section we'll see here how the entity works and how the truncate works okay we'll create the table again and as I have the employee ID uh, int identity column right starting from one and incrementing with one so I'll cr again create these new records okay and select star from employee table okay then truncate okay so now let's say if I put a where clause with the truncate statement okay so it does not work it gives me this error incorrect syntax near the keyword where right so the truncate statement works just like this truncate table and dbo dot employee right so the moment I execute the statement all the records are gone with the delete statement you have an option to filter the records here you don't have any option to filter the records you the moment you fire this truncated statement it quickly removes the records right without filtration okay now uh, as I said 
uh, identity columns are reseeded on this operation if no seed was defined then the default value is used okay now if we want to see the identity value of this particular column how we can we see it so the statement to view the identity value is db c c c h e c k i d e n t and within brackets we have to apply the table name dbo dot e m p l p l o y e e okay so with this statement you can check checking identity information current identity value is z is null and current column value is null so it is reseeded back so if i insert reinsert the values so the identity value is null okay so for the new record it will st again start from one okay so now let's see here see the employee id is starting from one and ending with four but but with delete this is not the case okay let's see how it works with delete so i'm going back to the create table statement of delete section so this particular section is all same in delete and truncate statement i'm inserting same number of records and here I'm getting these records okay so I had so if I delete all the records right let's see the identity value of this table and the column okay so here it says after deleting all the records right I've deleted all the records so after removing all the records the identity value is still 4 okay so if I insert again these records so the new identity value will start from 5 not from 1 let's see here see right so this was this was not the case with our truncated statement so with our truncated statement the identity property is reseeded to these right if I again apply a truncate table statement on this table the new identity will not start from 9 it will again start from 1 okay now it's that there is no record now we'll again check the identity property it's again null Previously with delete statement it was 4. Okay, now let's again insert some records, right? And select some records. See, it is 1, right? So, so while you truncate a table, the identity columns are reseeded, right? Uh, this does not happen with delete. Okay, so no triggers are fired on this operation because it does not operate on individual rows. So, it delocated data pages instead of rows. So, as I said in the fourth point, um, while you apply the truncate operation it does not delete row by row it it deletes the records by data pages okay so in SQL server uh, we have a concept of rows pages extincts right so every row is stored in pages 8k pages and 8 pages makes an extent okay so when you apply a truncate statement it does not delete row by row so instead it deletes by data pages and like the way uh, delete statement logs the rows this operation logs the data pages instead of rows thus it is faster than delete operation while deallocating data pages it locks pages and not rows thus it requires less number of locks and resources thus it is faster also truncate is not possible when a table is referenced by a foreign key or tables used in replication or with indexed views mm, when a table is participated in an indexed view if you have created an indexed view on a table you cannot apply a truncate statement or you have uh, set up a merge or transaction replication on the table you cannot truncate the table okay so this is a ddl command that is data definition language uh, if you remember so we discussed with the delete statement that the delete is a dml statement that is data manipulation language but truncate is a ddl that is data definition language because it changes the property of a table after you apply right it resets the identity column and deallocates data pages and empty them for use of other objects in the database right so it is a ddl statement okay now few things to note uh, so there is a misconception among some people i have heard that few people says that okay while citing differences between delete and truncate statement that truncate cannot be rolled back but delete can be rolled back or vice versa this, but this is not the case both delete and truncate operations can be committed and rolled back if provided in a transaction if there is no transaction provided the by default nature is committed okay you cannot roll back only the method to roll back a delete and truncate transaction is you have to restore from the last backup taken okay so this is all about it and you can check uh, more on my blog so you can check this link the link is also available in the details section of this video below and thank you very much for watching this video please like it if you really like it and please subscribe 
for uh, the new videos that I'll put on. Thank you very much.